Hello everyone, welcome back to the Boundary Between Worlds. Um, I feel like we need to do a tarot reading, but I also feel like it just needs to be left in the universe's hands. So we're just going to see what comes out and take it from there, okay? Okay, I feel like for quite a uh, okay, I feel like for a lot of you, there have been a lot of questions. Okay, I feel like there's been a lot of questions with people close to you, and really wondering if you can trust them, wondering how they really feel, and what the path forward is. Right, the key here is. It needs you to ask those hard questions. It's not about leaving it and kind of just hoping things will work out on their own, okay? Because that's what won't happen. If you be assertive though, be direct and ask those hard questions, you're not not only are you going to get the answer that you need to hear, right? But you're also going to need to actually accept it, okay? The key to the, the reason that's so important is because that is what allows this person and you to really come together. It's what allows allows things to move forward in the right direction, right? And move forward in a way that shines an abundance upon you, that allows you to get all it is you seek and more, okay? It allows you to have that relationship, to have that love, that care, but most importantly, it's that connection, right? It allows you to really strengthen that bond and form that connection and allow it to be, for both of you, extremely beneficial, but also long lasting, okay? The one, the big key to all of this is it does require that letting go of what was, okay? It requires that letting go of how things were and taking your foot out of the past, okay? If you have your foot in the center now and in the past, if you're kind of trying to move forward with this or this person, for a lot of you, I feel like it's a person in particular, okay? It, it totally stalemates you. I'm sorry, that's my dog banging on the door. Um, it totally stalemates you with trying to move forward if there's that longing, that looking back to what was, to what could have been, okay? And that again is why it's so important to ask those hard questions and to really put your cards down on the table, okay? You are going to find that that, that just seems to open up so many avenues, so many possibilities for you, but it also frees you emotionally, right? It seems to allow you to step into your own power, okay? It allows you to find that emotional liberation where you're not under the thumb of anybody else or under their spell, you know? It, it really puts you in a position where your emotions aren't driving you either. Of course, it's it, it's not a negative that they are, right? But I know you know what I'm talking about here. It's when it's it's those emotional reactions and all those things that can kind of work against you. This all has you moving into a place where it, you rise above it all, okay? It isn't going to be easy. That's the thing. Like I'm the way I'm saying it, it sounds like it's going to be simple. And at the end of the day, the real good things, we've got to work hard for them, right? We've got to stand our ground. And that's going to be necessary to really make sure you know what your boundaries are, but also to actually enforce them, okay? Knowing and enforcing them is two totally different things. But this emotional liberation will enable you to be able to really draw those lines and find that respect that you deserve, right? That equal respect. I feel like there is going to be... Parts of your journey moving forward, it's not all set in stone, right? And so part, parts of your journey moving forward do rely on this faith. It does rely on you having this trust in yourself, faith in your higher power, okay? I'm using higher power just for everyone to cover the broad spectrum of everyone's different beliefs. Um, but that's really going to be important here is 
holding on firm to that faith, okay? Because in the darkest times, that's what's going to light you forward. It's that faith that's going to keep you pushing. It's that faith that's going to give you that belief in yourself and in something more. It's going to bring hope. It's going to bring so many things that enable you to keep on pushing and keep on moving forward, right? Because for some of you, like I said, that having to enforce your boundaries, for some of you that is going to work in a way where it's going to have its own roll on effects, okay? And it's not going to be a quick fix problem. It's going to take time. And this is the key here is patience, right? Because of that time it's going to take. I feel like for some of you, during that time of patience, you may find another person come onto the scene, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, this is a different person. It is possible, though, that for some of you, it's one person that kind of has two personalities, right? That can really flick from one to the other. They can be really charismatic and this great communicator, but then at the same time, they can be this total other flip and they can be really caught up on the materialistic things. They can be uh, a homebody in that sense, okay? And I feel like the key with this for those of you where it's a new person or for those of you where it is, sorry, this is the general side of the reading, or for those of you where it's this one person with those like two big split personalities, the key moving forward here, right, is you've got to find a way for mutual respect. I feel like at times this person is going to really test the boundaries. They're going to... <sighs> Or sometimes it's like they'll pick the high picking fruit, the high hanging fruit, and leave the stuff that's on the ground for everybody else. You know what I mean? They'll go pick the best of everything and then you get the crummy leftovers in a sense. And the key here is if that mentality doesn't work. It needs you both as equals. It needs you on the same page. It's about coming together, not going off and doing it for your own, okay? I do again feel like for some of you, you're going to need to slow down though, take a breath before you make any big major decisions. The reason being is I feel like a lot of you sometimes have made decisions that benefit you in the sense of they bring stability, they bring security, but sometimes it's like that head has weighed out so much, right? It's really come from that logical perspective. But in doing so, you've ignored your heart, okay? And the key here is to stop ignoring your heart, to open yourself up to it, okay? Because that, I feel like sometimes it has you playing it safe, uh, staying inside that comfort zone rather than really going out there and chasing what you want. And that's because sometimes what your heart wants it goes against the grain of everything else. I feel like for some of you, this, what I was talking about with that selfish behavior and that being on two different levels, right? If you're not able to get that, it's not about accepting it, okay? It's not about accepting the behavior you don't want to accept. It's not about pushing your boundaries aside and going, oh, well, in order to stay with this person, right? The key here is to really take that time take that time within and work out what it is you really want, what it is your heart really wants, what it is your spirit is aching for. And for some of you, it may be, again, a clean shot into another direction, right? But it's not a negative because there is still, you have these multiple connections that come into your life, but you have some long standing connections, okay? And you will find love as well. And for those of you where it's kind of just out of grasp at the moment, and these people may not be it, right? It does come to you down the line, and it's nothing to give up on, but playing it safe and listening to your head, not your heart, that will have you giving it up giving up on it and that's what has me saying you know take that second and really touch base with your heart really touch base with what it is that you really want because at times I've got to be honest at times it's like you sell yourself short okay you have so much to give and you are the rallier amongst in this relationship you are the rallier amongst the people that come into your life it's like they congregate to you they vibe off your energy you fuel you fuel them in a sense with your energy because you're the carer you're the nurturer you're the lover okay and 
that is such a wonderful thing to have okay and you get rewarded for this okay but it's not about shortcuts it's not about just jumping to the end like i said there is this journey ahead of you that has so much reward but it also comes with you needing to make some difficult decisions and comes with you needing to really look at what you want and difficult in the sense because it mixes everything up it takes your life it shakes it up and it puts it back down and it's all over the place okay and it's not a negative that's the thing to remember is it may be a change in environment for a lot of you but again it is it has you heading in the right path it's not the end it's the beginning of something new it is the beginning of where you're supposed to be going okay and the key here again is take that time listen to your heart and work out what isn't working okay and those things that aren't working it's time to walk away from it it's time to look forward into the new horizon and leave all of that behind you okay allowing the all that you wish it could have been, just let it go, okay? Everything that you don't want, identify it and let it go, release it, because there is so much benefit that comes to you once you find that release and your whole body itself is then able to really actually start healing and really actually start regenerating itself and refueling itself because I feel like a lot of you it's the putting off of those hard question, those hard things. It's that ignoring your heart, that disconnect between that mind, body, spirit, right? Has when we ignore one little part of ourselves, it has these major roll-on effects. It's just like when we ignore a challenge and we ignore an issue, it doesn't go away. Instead, it it grows, it bruises, it gets bigger, and it creates more dramas as a result. Okay. Um, and that's the catch here is really finding yourself in that position where you're able to identify and release what is no longer serving you. That is what then allows you to get everything you deserve. It allows, it allows you to get on track with your higher purpose, to get on track with a calling. And for a lot of you, it, it enables you to discover that calling. I feel like for some of you, you're going to already be starting down the journey before you've even realized it's begun. You're going to be on this new trajectory before you've even realized the magnitude of the path you're taking. But it comes with so much reward because it aligns you with where you're supposed to be and it aligns you with where your spirit wants to be on a much, much bigger level than where it's at now, okay? The key here is to remember that at times... There has been a lot of pain from others and it doesn't necessarily disappear like that but you can use that wisdom that strength and that experience that you have from all that you have been through and all that you will go through you can use all of that it can become your arsenal of knowledge your arsenal of wisdom and that in turn allows you to shed the load to shed the weight and the baggage right and to allow it all to be taken back from you i feel like for some of you you've carried so much for so long and it's time to let it all go that release will also release all that weight upon your shoulders okay and the weight of everybody else the emotional draining and attacks that have come at you the emotional vampires that have drained you the people who have just flat out stabbed you in the back right who have crushed your boundaries who have disrespected you all these steps are happening in a way to eliminate all that effect off you and again it's about allowing you to heal allowing you to find that new beginning to break through into a, a new beginning that brings so much freedom as well right it will bring that financial freedom down the line as well you will get that stability that time to be able to breathe and to be able to get back on top of your finances again the key here is not to look to others to light the way okay the, your journey isn't about following it's about leading it's about taking yourself on it not looking for somebody else to you're going to find that there are many people who will put their hand up who will supposedly be able to take you there they'll be able to guide you there they'll be able to show you what to do what to say and 
it, it's wrong okay it's you it's all you you need to be the one steering yourself there you need to be the one discovering it for yourself half of the journey is you searching is you actually seeking and looking for it for yourself okay don't get bored don't get complacent i know that at times it can be like you can have all this good coming but you can still be looking around going well what else is there what's next where to next and that's where it's just that need to be careful okay that's where that boredom complacency works against you because your journey is going to be like it, it's like these major stepping stones but if you're not paying attention they can seem so small they can seem so insignificant it's not until down the track when you've got that hindsight to be able to look back that you will then actually see how monumental every single step was how necessary every single thing was okay and keep in mind that yes there are people in and out of your life but these are connections that have lessons to teach you and they're necessary to enable you to get to where you need to be to be able to fall in with your calling to be able to discover it and to be able to follow it all right and i feel like that is everything coming through tonight so i'll thank you all very much and i'll see you all later bye